Hello, welcome to Talking About Painting with Jason and Clive. Yes, and I'm just <laughs> I'm just sitting back having a look at you, Jason. <laughs> sitting here back look having a look at you in Wales. So yeah. um, you, you, you contacted me a couple of weeks ago and asked me about a challenge because we've been doing the challenges uh, for quite a yeah. while now. And um, you, you frightened me a, a bit with the challenge you uh, suggested. So if you, can you just explain to the people, um, our viewers, what we are going to be doing? Yes. So <laughs> the idea is um, we're going to be painting a masterpiece. Oh, yeah. We're going to have a go at uh, picking an artist, which we've already picked, and picking a painting, which we've already done as well, and we're going to have a go at painting it. As simple as that, actually. We're going to do a painting of a masterpiece, and uh, we've chosen paintings. I don't want to spoil the fun and tell you what Clive's chosen yet, but we've chosen paintings that we uh, admire, and... Uh, I've chosen a Rubens, and what have you chosen, Clive? Uh, Thomas Gainsborough, because it's, there's a few elements that, if, that the people can see the, what I've got behind me here. Um, but there, there, there's a few elements in there that I'll discuss, and it, 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 it covers all the points that I want to work on in one painting, as, as, as I know, same with you, Jason, because we've been talking about painting this over a m number of weeks rather than hours. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we can break it down into lessons and then have a completed painting at the end of it. So I think it's going yeah. to work out really well. Um, yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. challenging us. Although we are good artists, I'd like to say, I think, I'd like to think I'm think i a good artist, um, it's going to be a challenge for us. So, you know, I think that's good to push our boundaries and to show people that, yeah, we we, we got to do that as well. Yeah, I think doing a, a master painting is going to really put pressure on yourself to do something good <laughs> and uh, I've noticed a lot of times with me uh, because I do have a bit of laziness in me <laughs> I uh, don't always paint at my best I don't challenge myself enough I don't think and doing something like this it's quite a big painting that I'm doing and uh, it's going to be hard because it was done by a much better painter than me and but just to show you uh part of the painting that i'm going to be copying this is uh, on photographic paper this is susanna uh by rubens and i've tried doing rubens painting before um and i struggled to be honest i never finished either of them uh and mainly because i didn't have a method and uh a method well, <laughs> neat. but it's like everything really jason and you know when we when we when we doing something like that we put it down and it's forgotten about for a week two weeks a month you know um we, we we're all involved in other projects being uh, being youtubers we've always got a paint but some of those projects get put down and forgotten about and 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 i think we're all in the same situation um i've got paintings here that have start half finished and or half started which way, whichever way you want to look at it <laughs> but That's i mean awful. yes it is so half start <laughs> half half started in wales and half finished in in in, in the uk <laughs> in, in england but i mean it is true though and i think that most artists do that especially as with what you do uh, painting in oils uh, big projects, um, you, you've got to you've got to let them dry off. You know you've got no choice. But uh, so, how are you going to paint this? Are you going to paint this in acrylic or in oils? Or uh, I'm going to do it with oils. Uh, my favourite is oils, water mixable oils. I don't use the other type anymore. I just use water mixable, and it's only because just using water as a medium or linseed oil as a medium. Uh, I take it you're using acrylic. I'm going to be using acrylics, but I'm going to be trying to replicate oil paint as close to as I possibly can because I got a few tricks up my sleeve with regards <laughs> uh, different mediums and things. Not not mediums that I make, but mediums that are uh, easily accessible to people on the high street. And um, I'm going to be using a mixture of acrylic paint and Dulux household emulsion, a bit like John Mayatt. So I've John been Mayatt, I've been I've yeah. been watching John's work a lot. Um, there's currently a TV program called Fake on um, HTV, which I'm watching. Sky Arts, yeah. Yeah, so um, 
yeah, it's 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 something that I'm interested in. I've done a few copies. I have I have done a few copies of different paintings over the years, um, but nothing to this size. Or I want to try and replicate it as close as I can. I'm never going to get it perfect, and neither are you, Jace. I don't think. But well, you know, we you know, <laughs> we not we, if if they are that good, perhaps we may be able to make a few quid. <laughs> But I, I don't know about the research you were doing, um, but I'm, I'm off to the museum, Cardiff Museum now, to see if I can find some Thomas Gainsborough's work there. Yeah. So. I, I've seen some Gainsborough paintings when I was in uh, uh, the Coulchard Gallery in London and in the Portrait Gallery, and they're amazing. The, uh, this, I can't remember the name of it. It was one of a woman, and oh, it was awesome. He oh. primarily was a he was a landscape painter to what the research I've done so far, and he went into portraiture uh, in the um, mid seventeen hundreds. Um, the reason I chose Thomas Gainsborough, it wasn't so much the artist; it was mainly to do with what the subject was. As I was flicking through, um, and I, as we discussed earlier, and I thought, oh, it's got a dog in it, it's got a tree in it, it's got a human being in it, and it's got distant landscape. And I thought, right, I didn't know who the artist was at that particular time. But I mean, it had all the elements that I, I, and I, I'm passionate about at the moment. I, you, you got me into landscapes with the very first challenge. Mm -hmm. um, you, you've got me into portraiture now uh, in, in more of a way than, I, uh, than I've had. So challenging, uh, taking your challenges on over the last year, 18 months, has made me a much better artist. So. Mm. You know, it's it's it, it helps you improve so these challenges. Technically, then, if you uh, do a really good job and sell it, I should get a cut because uh, <laughs> I'm kind of like your coach. <laughs> no, I'll sell it, and I'll just tell the police it was your idea. <laughs> you, you take it to some of It's not, it's not me, Your Honour. It was him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Rubens. Um, no, I had a Rubens cube in the seventies, but I never, I never managed to, <laughs> I never managed to get it right. No, so Rubens, why Rubens? Is there any specific thing about Rubens you like besides from you know you, you've attempted it a couple of times before, or actually, um, <laughs> there's a few painters I really like, and uh, I just find this one striking. And uh, there's a book that I've got, and it's about copying master paintings and it was featured in that book and it made me think oh maybe I could do that and uh, <laughs> yeah it just really made me want to paint it <laughs> and I've been thinking about it for ages because I printed um, uh, loads of A4 sheets and taped them together which I'll go through <laughs> my process when I do my process videos and uh, and it's been stuck and I've moved it to three different locations and I've just not done it because I've not felt um, like I could do it. Oh, well, I'm passionate, not... I think. You've got to have the passion to do it. You've got to want to do it. Yeah. You, know, you, you, yeah. you wanted to do it, but you haven't had the, the, the passion yeah. to do it. Um, so I think where we were talking about the challenge the other week and you got quite excited he said yeah i got a painting here i've been wanting to do for ages yeah so it, it gets you fired up and that's what i think yeah. it's good yeah, it's um, kind of like we were at art college in a way this is like our own art school because we're like students of art and when you're doing a project and i'm doing a project i kind of we kind of get each other going in a way yeah, it's nice, and and and, and you know, it's, it's 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 rather than sitting in 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 your own painting area, um, just making videos, you know, it, it's it, it it this is this is besides that, even though we're making a video of what we're doing, this yeah. is more about us learning um, and us yeah. and us getting enjoyment from something that we want to do rather than what we feel we should be doing to yeah. help others. So yeah. we get helping ourselves at the same time, which I think is good. Yeah. And um, and I I know that will be appreciated. So. Yeah. Well, we always want to progress. We always want to get better. And I think something like copying a master painting is a good idea because you learn a lot by copying. <laughs> a lot of people say, "Oh, why why don't you do your own paintings?" And it's like, 
why do you want to copy a master pain? Why don't you do your own masterpiece? It's like, well, that's quite hard. <laughs> Where if I've got something to copy, then I can learn a process of painting, which I could then put into a future masterpiece. Yeah, and I the other thing is, I find is that um, people say to you, um, well, well, how do I find my own form? How do I find my own technique? How, how, how do I, you know, this, that, and Well, until you practice and, and copy other paintings, other styles of paintings, you're not going to find something you can settle into. Yeah. I think, personally, I'm, and, and, you know, we, we copy for a reason. And, you know, we're not going to sell these as originals. No, I don't condone anybody trying to sell anything as an original. But, I mean, there's nothing stopping... You know, people copying. There's copying artists out there that's making a living from doing copies of original yeah. works and selling mm -hmm. them as copies. Legitimate so, thing. Legitimate, yeah. And there's nothing wrong in that. And, you know, as long as they're not currently copy written, it's a difference. Mm -hmm. So when you're yeah. doing old masters like um, a, a Vermeer or, or a, a Picasso or something like that, you can learn so much. Um, yeah. You know, from all these different techniques. Um, I was watching one on last night about how she she copied a, a Lowry. Now I didn't realize that Lowry who used so so thick a paint as a background. Yeah. Yeah. I always because you look at pictures, you don't see that. You don't see yeah. the texture, and this is yeah. why I'm going to the museum now to have a look at the game spread to see exactly how he. Yeah strokes and things you know i, I saw a uh, larry in a museum and i was surprised how thick the paint was and he scraped he used to scrape paint off with a knife didn't he and then paint yeah. it it's amazing yeah. you know um and as i said to learn those techniques and you can do that yourself then and you can start um, finding who you are as an artist then mm. i think yeah i tried to uh paint in a museum once but they wouldn't let me uh, I tried to get permission to copy some paintings, uh, but they wouldn't let you take oil paints in there, <laughs> which was a shame. You can take but, cameras and that in now, I think. Yeah, so. a lot of them you can take photos, because I did, but uh, unless they've still got their copyright, and then obviously you can't. But, uh, but yeah, so hopefully we do a good job and uh, show some process videos. Because I think the process is important. Because I've always, well, I don't struggle now with a process, but I've got a process. And I think your process is what creates your style. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I've aged my painting as well. I've already aged the back of it. They made it look really <laughs> dirty and scruffy. And, you know, one of the things I'm going to do is get some um, dust and stuff out of the vacuum cleaner and tuck it down that back. <laughs> and, you know, I, I want to show that, you know, you can make something new look really old and crusty, you know. So I'm going to I'm gonna really go to town on this one. I do like that idea, actually. <laughs> I'm doing mine on some board, though, so I'm not sure how. I can't really age what it. Size, <laughs> what size is um, the original painting you were going to paint? Uh, 85 centimetres. Quite big, then. Um, it is. Mm -hmm. It's this big. <laughs> is, that, is that the original, is that the full size? That's the original painting size? Yeah, that's the original painting oh, size. Oh, that's, that's what I, that's what I was just trying to get at. That. That's good. So it's pretty big. Yeah. Cause mine is 20, 20 by 24. So it's a, it's, it's the actual, that's another thing I decided to do when I was looking through the paintings is to try and find something that's that I can actually fit on my easel and paint. There's no yeah. point painting something that's 16 feet by 14 feet because I wouldn't get it in yet. So you'd have to break it down. And by breaking well, it down into size, you're not going to get the, the effect here. Maybe do a Michelangelo copy on the ceiling. Consistent, <laughs> <laughs> climb, climb, ceiling, climb ceiling. <laughs> the, yeah. It lands like that, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, um, that's, that's good. Well, I've done the outline on mine. I've got so far with it. Um, like, I'm not going to put paint to canvas at the moment um, because I want to see a, a, a Gainsborough, whether it's just a landscape or a portrait. You get an idea of what... Yeah, it's supposed to be like yeah. <laughs> and then i've got to decide then 
how am I going to paint it? Am I going to paint the distant background with like grisaille and then and and then um, go over it with uh, glazes, or am I going to paint it directly? So I'm not too sure whether to go indirect or direct, or use a mixture of the two ideas just to get the age look, because I don't want. What's going to happen, Jason, is when we paint this, the paint, the colours are going to be so vibrant. You know, I want I want mine to look a little bit aged. So, you know, either using very muted colours, like compliments to mute them down, yeah. or I'm going to try and just take it down a couple of tones. But I still want the colour there. But, you know, I don't know how good the... I, I, yeah. I got a picture, but I don't know how good the original is as far as... Colours. Colours yeah. is concerned. And I can't find I can't find his palette. I don't know what palette he used. The palette of colours. I think he used a wooden one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I trying to find out what actual colours he used because when I did uh, the girl with the poor earring by Vermeer, I I, I found uh, the, his colour palette uh, um, and what what colours he used, and I I, I mixed these colours then. Um, as best I could in acrylics to get, you know, mm. it's like Lowry only uses five basic colors, doesn't he? Yeah. So you know, it, it's good to know those things because you you're just, you know, fighting against it otherwise, and and it's, you can't copy from a, a photograph unless it's a really good photograph because you, the colors can be different. Yeah, I think regards to coloring, I don't unless you've got the original next to you, you're not going to get it right. No, no, I know that. I know, I know. But I just wanted a rough idea of what yeah. it's getting. It's getting the best high definition photograph you can get, I yeah. think. So I've been going around the National Gallery sites, um, and and I know where this painting is. I know it's in London. I I I even know what room it's in, but I don't know what color you know what colors he used. Is, it's it, is it in the National Gallery? It's in the National Gallery in I, London. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. I remember thinking it was very uh, bright. I was always expecting it to look quite dark because of the. Uh, but a lot of their paintings, they've cleaned the old varnish off, haven't they, and revarnished them. That's what people forget. See, they think, oh, it's a dirty old painting, but it's 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 the layers and layers and layers of varnish that people put have put on them over the years. Um, yeah, they go black sometimes. Yeah, when you think about it, when these were painted, this was like seventeen hundred and fifty something. Yeah. You know, think of all the oil oil lamps. Think of the coal fires. Think of all the tobacco smoke, you know. And that's only in that century. You can imagine how how dirty and how grimy these paintings are, you know. Yeah. So, I think it's good to um, it's good to do that. I think. I'm I'm, I'm really fired up for this challenge. Get excited. Yeah, yeah. Me too. I'm looking forward to getting started. I feel I always get this feeling of. Um, like the night before Christmas when I go to bed and I expect loads of presents <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, it's kind of like that because I'm excited about doing it and then uh, once I get started start seeing the progress then I'll be happy but well, that's good because you know when you fire it up like that you're enjoying the painting process so yeah. you know we're going to I, I'm going to try and video this totally different to what I normally do. And I know you've got ideas to do something similar. Yeah. And I think it's 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 a good way because there's, there's no way we can paint this in, in hours. Well, we could, but <laughs> if we could, but it, it'll be what it is. You know, yeah. I want to get this as close to, per, yeah, close to perfect too, yeah. as I can. And, and it could take me weeks and weeks and weeks. So I think it's a good idea that we break it down into sections and uh, you know and say we could work on uh you know i could work on the dog and oh i could work on the sky and this one and you know it's, it's nice to break it down in between the other videos that we put out i think it'll be something it's a good process to follow along with yeah so no, totally it's gonna be tough but it's gonna uh it's gonna be good yeah it's gonna test us that's for sure so um yeah, and we've got this other one coming out now, uh, this next challenge of the portrait. So I'm going to yeah. be sending mine over to you soon. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a this bit is of fun. Where, where we paint uh, the portrait to there, and then yeah. the other person paints the bottom part. <laughs> 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 Which is fun. 
I mean, it's gonna it's gonna be a bit random, but it's gonna be fun anyway. I've been taking pictures, selfies of myself today because I was thinking about it when I was working, and um, you know, I, I I've only got to paint from there down, so I've been doing pouts. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been, I've been doing all. I've been taking photographs of my face, and I'm thinking, yeah, I mean, I might be able to use that one. <laughs> so it's going to be a bit of fun because you're limited. You don't know what you don't know what the top half looks like. So it's <laughs> it is going to be a, it's going to be fun. That is, I reckon. Mm. I'm looking forward to that. So uh, yeah. So where are you at the moment with your painting? Have you you've done a little bit of videoing on it, bit of work. Uh, yeah, um, I've got as far as gesso in the board. <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's a good start. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've uh, printed the picture out, uh, taped it together because I printed it out on loads of A4 sheets, taped it together, cut it to size, and uh, I've actually done mine slightly too big because when I was printing it out, it was printing out slightly too small and then I printed it again and it was slightly too big but I cropped it a bit and I did find out that this painting has got bigger over time so <laughs> it might have been this size at one point no well quite. and people might say well tracing is cheating well it is cheating because we're trying to do a fake <laughs> and yeah, the thing is but, I was watching I, our program last night on fake and she was doing a Lowry and that's exactly what she did she she yeah. had it printed out, she printed it out the same size as the as original, and she copied it and traced it straight on. And what more? What else can you do, Jason? We're not. We're not. You know, uh, something as big as this, it's hard to just draw. I mean, I have done it uh, before. I, I copied a Van Gogh portrait and I drew that on using a ruler and a pencil, and it was it was hard, uh, but. Why why spend all that time with a ruler and a pencil or squares when now we can print stuff out and just trace it? And what would they do? What would what what would the Van Goths do and all this and and, and, and you know, what would they do? And the Rubins, if they well, had the back, tools they would use them themselves. Oh yeah, back in the day they would have uh, they did tracings anyway because they used to use chalk and they Put pin pricks in the, uh, the the outline and then chalk and that's it, smash yeah. them on. And they used to call them cartoons. That's where they, that's cartooning, wasn't it? Because they they they'd like a portrait I've got behind me now. They they'd have, you know, they could use uh, they could have a drawing of say a, a woman, and that woman could be in several paintings, yeah, in several different positions, and yeah, you know, and that's what they did, you know, and it's it's. I've got drawers and drawers and drawers uh, of tracings of this, that, and the other, and that's no different than any other artist over the centuries have done. You know, there's so. nothing wrong with tracing if if you're wanting to improve your painting. If you want to improve your drawing, then you've got to draw, and, and that's that's just it. I I'm doing this because I want to paint. I if I was going to draw it, which I could in my sketchbook, I have thought about doing a quick sketch. Uh, but for the process, for me, uh, tracing's the way to go. <laughs> I bought myself a sketchbook the other week because we were talking about doing some sketch lessons and things. Yeah. And um, I am terrible. <laughs> God, no, really? Okay. I've lost so much, honestly. And that's because I haven't been drawing. You know, mm. if you don't paint for a 12 month, it's, you know, how to ride the bike, but it takes you a bit of time to get your balance. Yeah. This is what I say, and it's the same with painting. If you don't paint every day, or you know, you don't paint on a regular basis, you do forget. Not so much forget. It's 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 um. Practice. You're not memory. Yeah. yeah. A lot. I think it's different because when you're using uh, pencils and crayons and all that lot, uh, you've got to think differently to when you're painting, because it's not the same. Oh, I didn't People... press the start button. <laughs> No, I'm only joking. <laughs> take take fifty two. <laughs> no, but it's right. You what's it what's it called? Muscle memory, isn't it? Yeah. You forget. You, you know, because you you sit there sometimes. I I've watched you on the video, and I'm thinking, yeah, and you, your hands, you're just going for it, and you're not really thinking about what you're painting. You, you're just. It's just memory, mm. and you just know what you're doing. You know, you make it look easy, Jason. You make it look easy, Clive. 
Yeah, because it's it's we're not really thinking about what we're doing, are we? No, we're thinking I about think more about it, yeah. explaining what we're doing. Uh, yeah. When when you get used to your materials and how it reacts to the surface and all that stuff and the brushes, once you've got over that and then got over the colour in. Uh, what colours mix with what, then it's just painting and it's kind of a different way of painting. Tell your subscribers what I did last uh, over Christmas. I bought myself some water mixable oils. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and what was my first painting like, Jason? <laughs> I'm being well, honest. Yeah. <laughs> and what, I ended up, what did I end up doing with my paints? <laughs> Who sent me them? <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Jason. Yeah, because I can remember when I first, when I had the old studio, the shed, and I first started using acrylics, I threw those acrylics through that door at least three <laughs> times because I couldn't get on with them. I just, because I, I was working in oil paints, I just couldn't get on with acrylics. And then, because of my dermatitis and stuff like that, and I was having um, problems with using the thinners and that, and I, and I persevered uh, a good 12 months I'll be honest with you a good 12 months to get into these acrylics now I can't go back yeah I find it hard to use acrylics but I've watched quite a few of your videos actually and I've stolen a few of your uh, processes that's all those th <laughs> I know I know where all the thumb down are coming from <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't find them as bad as I used to but um, I still don't feel at home with acrylic so I always feel like I'm struggling a bit, and it's mainly uh, the feel of them is different. Because I got I so used to the feel of oils, it's weird for me to use anything else, especially watercolor. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm not I'm not a fan of watercolor, but um, I am gonna th have a crack at that because it's something I need to do. Um, because with acrylics, I can go all round the spectrum from watercolors right right into thick. In parcel oils like we did with the mountain you can see you're seeing that what i did with the mountain there um so you know it, it, it the possibility is 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 there for me um with acrylics but uh it just needs a lot of practice really mm. right, just yeah. there we are. anyway we're coming up to 30 minutes because we said we're going to keep this to 30 minutes believe it or not so um uh, is there anything else you need to talk about now before we um, start getting the paintbrushes out and start thinking <laughs> about this this, this painting? <laughs> I think uh, if uh, there's a budding artist wondering what to paint, then uh, get a masterpiece and try copying it. Because I know a lot of people, they send me a message, I don't know what to do. I want oh. to learn to be a better painter, what could I do? Well, paint something. Uh, and if you run out of ideas, paint a masterpiece. Even if you're not, even if you're a beginner, just have a go at a more simpler looking one, even if it's not simple, and just try. I mean, or just uh, just download a picture of what Jason is painting, the Rubens, or, uh, or the picture I'm doing with Thomas Gainsborough. And even if you don't paint your whole painting, paint a section of it. Yeah. You could. They could just do the face and paint along yeah. with us. Or you know, I've got I got three elements in mind. I've got a landscape. I've got a, a, a oh. portrait, and I've got a dog. So, you know. So what's the name? What's the name of your painting that you're doing? It's um um, uh, what's his name? Plampin. Th Thomas Thomas Plampin, I think it is. Uh, yeah, I think that's his name. I get it off the top of my head. Susanna is the one I'm doing. Ruben Susanna. Yeah, I can't remember the surname, but it's <laughs> well, well, I'll, you know, we can put the images up on 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 your Facebook page or whatever. Um, or we can we can surely make that available for them. So that's good. Yeah. So, um, right, I've been sitting back having a look for a while now, <laughs> <laughs> and I got to thank you. No. Jason sent me a fantastic mug, and I've got to say, I got to say thank you, Jason, for sending me this mug there we go sitting back having a look check them out on society six you know buy a couple help jason out yes we're all starving artists and these are lovely mugs give him a give him a try i'm um, talking about society six i got a couple of t-shirts on there as well <laughs> so um yeah so there we are jace now that's yeah. not bad for the first one maybe we'll do a a, a live one day and uh, frighten the world <laughs> But it's, um, yeah, so 
let the challenge begin. Yeah, let it begin and uh, let's do some good paintings. <laughs> do you want to say goodbye? Well, it's goodbye for me and it's goodbye from him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs>